Bro, it is 300 attack. It means she's three years old. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, okay? So this is our tier list, all right? So I'll be pulling up the card arts on the side, and this is our tier list. Hell yeah. So we're going to be starting off with the very first one is Abominable Unchained Soul. My man right I over here. Never, never heard of this guy. <laughs> Dude, this is this is a guy from my deck. I'm the I'm the unchained Whoa. guy. Oh. And a bomb, big old 3k beater, discards a card to pop a card, and he floats when he's popped. All that all that crazy shit, man. Alright? So he is, in my opinion, right up there. Look, he's taming the dog. He's got magic. He's got the purple hair, the long flowing purple locks. I He's would put him. Abominable. I would put him quite highly, but you let me know what you think of a. Right, he's, he's a handsome fella. I would put him in A tier, uh, just off the bat. I think. So the that, tiers, the tiers yeah. that we have are smashing, a wooga, okay. based, right. common, disaster, ew, and fuck no. All right. Well, I think that uh, a wooga is pretty uh, appropriate. Right, for Mr. Unchained Soul over here. In Awuga. Then we have Alistair, the Invoker. I'm sure you know exactly what my boy Alistair Bro. looks like. Yeah. I love him. <laughs> what? what do I you love mean Alistair. you love him? No, that's illegal. You're not allowed to love Alistair. I think he's such a great card. I love Alistair, the Invoker, because it annoys everyone so much when you just nah, mention dude. this dude. Fuck. I, I, honestly, dude, he doesn't even look good. Like, oh, that's yeah, the thing, that right? He might a be a, a I, good I, card or something like that, but he doesn't, he doesn't even look good, you know? No, no, no. This, is, this is the guy that everyone made fun of in high school because he wasn't working out, he wasn't getting bitches, but then, you know, he had his bit of a Sigma grind set going on, and he just learned, you just normal summon him, and that's the end of the game. You and then, like he, and then he, learned how to, he learned how to touch grass, right? That's what's that, up. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> You feel the touch of a woman once, and then you just get normal summoned for the rest of your life? Like, is that what you're saying? Absolutely. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so where where are we putting our boy Alistair the Invoker? I mean, I feel like he's based. You think he's based? Okay. Mm -hmm. I never thought I would say this, but I think I agree that Alistair is probably pretty based. So we got Apollosa with the bear, mm. and then Apollosa without the bear. Now... Mm. My initial thoughts on this are that Apollosa with the bear makes her seem badass, right? Agreed. Seem really badass. But Agreed. Apollosa without the bear makes her seem, you know, sweet and calm and, and serene. I'm not so going to lie. <laughs> yeah? Apollosa, I, I hate whenever my opponent summons this in Master Duel, but Ap Apollosa is definitely smashed here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it, do you think do you think she has a different tier depending on which art? Oh yeah, Apollosa that feels better with a big. I think it's the, very the two arts just give you Norman two Sonic sides Malice to Star. Apollosa, though. Ooh, okay. Just, did, uh, did you know TCG what? Apollosa is censored? Notice that we get a little bit of mm -hmm. side boob on OCG. Oh Apo, my god! And we get a little bit of thigh on OCG Apple. TCG Apple oh doesn't give us none Lord. of that. Dude. So Asa uh, is the one, you know, short brown hair. Has her little uh, nefarious eater of nefariousness with her. Asa, the Earth Charmer, immovable. Thoughts on mm -hmm. her? The, the glasses. I don't know if you're a glasses guy. I don't know if you're a short hair guy. Long so hair So she looks guy. like she's eight years old. Um, <laughs> can we put her in ooh, please? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not coming to a Yu-Gi-Oh stream to get canceled, okay? <laughs> Dude, can how can we go is back to the spear and the bear? <laughs> I'm go I'm I'm not even going to debate that. <laughs> I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to put it at you. And I'm not even going to debate that. Okay? I'm not even going to try because if I try to debate that, it'll just no, look no, You weird. don't understand. You don't understand. She might look like she's 12, but she's actually a 3,000 year old, old vampire. Dang. All right, next one. This is the ultimate husbando. You know Bean Soldier? <gasps> the Bean Soldier? The one and only Bean Soldier. Yo. Right? Now, you gotta be really careful with how you rank Bean Soldier because my mods call themselves the Bean Team. They love oh, beans. God. So you gotta be you gotta be really respectful of the Bean Soldier, okay? And Dude, I was just like, he, is. he has 1400 I, attack and he's a bean. <laughs> I'd like to point out the thighs. Look at them thick thighs, dude. Like, Bean Soldier like a little- chicken thighs. What do you mean? Okay, no, the, the, that's where the, the legs go. Like, look at this, this over here. What the heck is that? I know, that that's the chicken's thigh, you dingus. Oh, <laughs> what do you think ah. you eat? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'm a chicken breast kind of guy. So where are we ranking Bean Soldier? He has a Salamandra nope. equipped and everything. 
Hmm. I have to say, my biggest issue with Bean Soldier right now is I feel like he would ha maintain eye can contact throughout sex. And I think that would be extremely <laughs> difficult for both parties. The other issue is he's a bean. <laughs> that is an issue. But mostly that first thing. <laughs> Mostly the first thing. So eye contact yeah. is worse than is a bean. Yes, yes. Uh, I would go with common. He's a because common. I feel like I feel like I can't put too much hate on Bean Soldier. Like at the end of the day, it's you know your average, your average catch. Plunder Patrol. Captain oh my god, Blackbeard. I love this dude. Look at him. He's so funny and goofy. He's a pirate. He's a troll, like and he's the leader of the Plunder Patrol. Where are we ranking? Blackbeard. Now, if you'll notice, he's a bit of a manlet. Those legs don't go all the way down. He's really short. But he's really fucking buff. So he's a buff dude, manlet. Dude. He's short, but he said, no, I'm not gonna let my the circumstances of my birth define me. And he <laughs> wow. went out there and he made himself a name. <laughs> he became the captain of the Plunder Patrol. And yeah, he might have 1600 attack and could literally be beaten by normal summons from Legend of Blue Eyes. It doesn't <laughs> matter, okay? Because he has antlers. What's the third tier? The one right under Owuga? Uh, I want to say that is a based. He is based. He's the most based character out there. Look at this Giga Chad. <laughs> God. This next one, he, I think, is more of a husbando in real life outside of the bedroom than in the bedroom. He's number oh. 59, oh. Crooked Cook. He <laughs> won MasterChef finals, all right? He will oh cook you God. a good ass meal. Look at him. He's got the torch equipped to his wrist and everything. He's got the spatula, the ladle, the freaking frying pan on fire and everything. And he's also a strategy that people use nowadays to Isn't win to with stall? Exodia. Yeah. Yeah. So he will stall while cooking you a meal. What do we think of Crooked Cook? So hear me out, okay? He's the type of guy that looked at his competition and he walked in here saying, listen, good looks is temporary, but good food is eternal. I respect it. This is based. He is based. based. He's based. I think, that's, I think that's pretty based. I'm not going to lie. I do it's think pretty that based. is pretty based. So this one, we're going to have also a little bit, a little bit of a debate on about whether or not the, this character is male, female, or gender fluid, gender neutral or non-binary. Dark, the dark you add, you, add, you add here being like, mm, male, female, mm, I'm thinking to myself, mm, 12, 13 years old. <laughs> <laughs> it's a kid, it's a child. I mean, last time, last time you put Asa in ew, do you want to move Asa right, to ew. fuck no? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, so we're putting these at, at fuck put no. All the, put all the children. We have to rank regular dark magician girl. The issue, dude, this would have been an easy S tier, but the Dragonite's actually better. The thing is, I'm gonna go with my favorite artwork of Dark Magician Girl, and you let me know if you prefer a different artwork, but I like this one. This is the, the, the Thigh Magician Girl. I, okay, one thing that needs to be, like, you know, put out of the way, like, we need to, we need to clear this up. I am a leg man, okay? Legs, thighs, over boobs and ass any day of the week. Legs are the most important thing to me. And I think her legs I mean, are amazing. Disagree, but respect. That is fine. You can disagree. You can completely disagree. For Code me, around here trying to fuck spiders. <laughs> <laughs> fuck off, dude. Common tier. I think she's too mainstream. I think everyone's out here trying to get a piece of the magician girl, and it's not appealing. Common tier. Everyone's waifu is dark magician girl, even if they don't like Yu-Gi-Oh. It's too basic. Who, whoever gives like a 12 minute speech about Dark Magician Girl Thighs is just a basic bitch. Nux, I'm sorry, but like. <laughs> like, excuse me? Okay. So the question is are we ranking both artworks of Eldritch at the same tier? So we got regular Eldritch the Golden Lord, and then we got Eldritch the Golden Daddy. So, you know, the Golden Pimp. Where right, are we ranking so regular Eldlich? Let's regular Eldlich. Regular Eldlich is definitely disaster. I hate Fair. seeing this guy. I hate Fair. seeing him. He's his well, hands the... out, all grabby like. This this man does not ask for consent. Okay. What about the alt art? The but then you got paint me like one of your French girls, Eldlich. 
And that there is definitely a Wooga tier. A Wooga. I would like to debate that we put Eldritch the Golden Lord alt art in Smash. Dude, Eldritch the Golden Lord looks like Dio. Oh my god. I feel like it has to go into Smashing tier. Do we agree on this? You know what? I agree with that. Sure. Fuck it. Let's go. Smashing tier. And this one is a disaster. Araya the Water Charmer Gentle. Now let's see if you think this one looks like she is. I love how this this was like a set of monsters no one asked for to be brought back and they just kept bringing them back. I mean, for the links, they're actually genuinely pretty cool. So you can make the links with any two monsters and as long as one of them is of the correct attribute and they'll reborn a monster of that attribute from the opponent's graveyard to your field. It's pretty cool. I think EDP would put her in S tier. I don't, I don't know. You don't know is. EDP? You really don't know a lot of like YouTubers, do you? I know more streamers than YouTubers, to be honest. Huh? Yeah, EDP doesn't stream. Fair, fair. So is that a good thing or a bad thing that he would put her in S tier? Uh, I'll look up EDP. I don't know. I, I really don't want to. <laughs> From what my chat said, <laughs> I really don't want to. <laughs> so uh, where would you, Nux, rank her? you have like Araya? a cupcake tier, I'd put her in cupcake tier. What, well, we have a C tier. We can put her in common. Nah, nah, she's a child. I'd put her in nothing. The bottom. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> All right, cool. I really don't want you to ruin this next one for me. Because this is one of the cards that... Walking into this, I knew I wanted an S tier. Witchcrafter Jenny is one of my top tiers. All right? Bro, it is 300 attack. It means she's three years old. No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Okay? She has thighs for days she's a spellcaster she can do magic she's got the long flowing like pale hair which i like a lot jenny to me is s tier where are we classing jenny i mean she definitely looks like she would either be a or s tier like there's no like doubt in my mind mm -hmm. that that okay. now to decide between the two i would say mm -hmm. a tier not s tier purely because you really like her so is this a spike? Not... Yes, yes. Well, I'm the one controlling the mouse, so I'm putting her on S tier. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Next up is Heat Up, the Fire Charmer Ablaze. Yeah, what I wonder we, what I'm gonna say about this putting... one. Yeah, what do you have oh, to say? Oh hell yeah! Heat look, up? look at look at the belly button on that four year old. <laughs> Lilith, Lady of Lament. Thoughts? All right, I'm a little disgusted by her neck. I think it's way too long. <laughs> uh, I'm not into giraffes, and I would say that she is disgusting to you. Rating for Malice, Lady of Lament. See, Malice can get some. So, I don't know. It Maybe it's the fact that her neck looks like human length as opposed to giraffe. I'd put her in common tier because... Bro, no, come on. S tier, bro. S tier, look at her. Uh, she's uh, looking, uh, looking at a common tier right here. Look at her. S tier, bro. What the fuck? That I'm is, out here. That is Honestly. my ultimate waifu card, dude. Now we're going to get ready to possibly, potentially piss off my editor quite a lot. So we're going to talk about Lopter, the shadow of the generator bosses. He is the servant of all of the generator boss monsters. Is it just me or is he just a dude? He is just like, a dude. He serves these immense, humongous, like crazy big creatures. But he's, he's a bottom. He just he's just a dude that likes getting stepped on. That has way too many straps on his clothes. <laughs> this is disaster. He's a disaster. He's a you heard him, Dyer. Disaster. Dyer, you're gonna have to edit this. And Lopter's Sorry, disaster bro. feels bad. He just, yeah. All right, Lina the Light Charmer, lustrous. Let's <laughs> let let's have a look. Any differing opinions? It's a child. So most, I feel like most people prefer the alternate art. I personally am one who prefers the regular art of IP Mascarena. That's just my like initial take. So this is IP. She's got the midriff. She's got the roller skates and everything. Looks cute. All that stuff. Uh, people really like alt art IP because of the way she is, uh, you know, positioned Bro, on the motorcycle. Alt art IP <laughs> is way better. What are you saying? <laughs> oh my God. You just see a belly button and turn into a child, don't you? Oh my Lord. What do you mean? <laughs> All right. And then we have, so we talked about Lopter. He was the one who serves the boss monsters. One of the boss monsters that he serves is Mardell, the generator boss of light. She's also a like plant for the game. So this is Mardell. Where are we ranking Mardell? She's like a tree I'd mommy. I put, Mo tree mommy sounds great to me. I would put her in A tier. A tier for tree mommy. 
Let's fucking Tree go. Tree mommy. Nux, I give you the one Let's and only. Let's go, raging cock. Let's I give you go. raging the Eartha. raging cock, baby. Let's make it. Where are we if putting you... raging earth? If you don't put raging earth in S tier, there's something wrong with you. It, this I man is. Agree. Look, it's a giant cock. Look at it. It's just a big <laughs> cock. Win? We already know Win's going here, chat. We already know she's going there. And Stratos is ew. I hate this card. I hate how when you have a hero deck and you get it in your opening hand, you're just OP. And then you get it, you, you, or sometimes you just never draw it. And then your whole deck is just in shambles. The last one is the one that my mods absolutely wanted you to respond with. And I have to look it up on Google. A Luber token. Oh my god. Apparently we don't have a choice but to go with uh, the Aluber token. What are we ranking Aluber? <laughs> what the hell is this? He's a what dramaturge. Is this? He's a what? A dramaturge. He he's like a theater guy. Theater nerd. <laughs> well, I mean, if it's for your mods, I'm gonna say... Where did we put uh, Farm Girl? In, in common? Okay, so one above that. Bazed. Fuck off! <laughs> Let's go, mods! I'll give you your spotlight! You guys deserve this, you work so hard! Well, ladies and gentlemen of the chat, we have our Nux Taku Husbando and Waifu Yu-Gi-Oh! tier list. There it is, screenshot and all that good stuff. Holy freaking moly, that was a hell of a ride. Took a hell of a long time to do too. But hey, very pog, very beast. Hell yeah, thank you for having me, good sir, and good luck on your sub -a Yo, everyone, subscribe! Make him sit here forever!